Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. And thank you for watching this clip on solving for x, one variable and one equation. Now, this is really a fun problem to solve. And as you get deeper in math or higher in math, and we're going to have two variable, two equation, three variable, three equation. But golly, you don't want to solve one that's with four, four variables and four equations. They're really tedious. But one variable, one equation is really fun because this is beginning of algebra. That's saying like we're not only doing arithmetic, adding and subtracting, we're going to actually start in working with numbers and letters, combine them. Okay, so our end goal is to get x by itself equal to something. So everything we do from here onward is just going to go collect all the variables together and collect all the numbers together. And we're going to get x all by itself. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this bracket by doing this overhead. Okay, so it's 3 times x plus 3 times 1, which is 3. And then on this side is minus 2 times x, that's minus 2x. Minus 2 times minus 1, and this becomes a positive 2. Okay, that's where our first number, let's put a little star over here. So minus 1 times minus 2, minus minus Kind of like a, I don't know, snake bites need a snake vitamin to cure it. So minus minus become a positive. All right, that's the first thing. And then my plus six follows right down here. Now, next thing I'm going to do is really fun. I want to move all the x, anything contains x, to one side. So I'm going to do opposite of what I have over here. Since I have an equal sign here, I got to be fair on both sides. I can't just add one side and without taking care of the other side. So I'm going to add 2x on both sides. This one cancels out. Here's my equal sign unchanged. And 3 is left over. And here, 3x plus 2x. Think of a 3 apples plus 2 apples. That's 5 apples. Okay. On this side, I have 8 because 2 plus 6 is 8. All right. Whew, that's a lot of work. Math break. Summertime. Delicious. <laughs> Back to math. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the numbers over. Since I have a 3 here, once again, i got to keep my, my equal sign. So I subtract 3 on both sides. 5x gets down here. Equal sign gets unchanged. And then what? 8 minus 3 is 5. Phew, almost there. Okay, 5x is really 5 times x. In order to get x all by itself, remember earlier we said we want x all by itself. I'm going to divide by 5 on both sides. Now you notice I'm very careful with my equal signs because algebra is really come down to all about equal signs. We have a lot of rules to follow, but it's all trying to keep our equal sign unchanged. All right, so x equal to 1. Now, a lot of students at this time would say, all right, I'm done, x equal to 1. They rush down to the next one. As you study algebra from the very beginning, I always tell my students, you know what, not so fast. Get into this habit of checking your work. This is really invaluable because as your math gets more and more difficult, what's going to save you from bad grades for one thing, is that you plug this back in there and check your work. Okay, so algebra, that's one good thing about algebra. You can always double check your work. So we found this mystery number one, and the thing is to say, if x is equal to one, if I plug this one in there, then this hand, left hand side, ought to equal to right hand side. Well, let's take a look, see if that's true. Okay, left hand side is equal to three x plus one, and since we know x equal to 1, let's plug it in there. 3 times 1 plus 1, 3 times 2. So left hand is equal to 6. Let's try right hand side. If we, we did everything right, we should have exactly the same answer on both sides. Okay, once again, x equal to 1. So on the right hand side, I have minus 2 times 1 minus 1 plus 6 minus 2 times 0. All right, that's a 0. It's equal to 0 plus 6, which is 6. Yay, hooray, we got the right answer because this magic number of x equal to 1, when you plug into this equation, you get a right left-hand side 
equals the right hand side. All right, I hope this one is clear and welcome to algebra. This is really fun topic. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun and easy. Well, it's trying to. Please comment or thumb up if this has been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.